What's going on and welcome to the FanDuel Hurry Up. My name is Tom Vecchio. Week 6 is here. There are some injuries we need to pay attention to, some different situations for different teams, and I'm set to give you some value plays for your DFS lineups. Let's start off at running back Khalil Herbert for the Chicago Bears. He's $5,500. He was the backup last week, and he's set to be the starter this week because Damian Williams has entered the league's COVID protocol, and his status for Sunday is in doubt. We already know that David Montgomery is out with... Uh, a knee injury, and we should be seeing Herbert take over the starting role. Now, last week when he was the backup, he actually saw 18 rushing attempts, which is really solid for a backup. Hopefully this week he can push past 20 total touches, which would be good to see. He's going up against Green Bay. They're allowing 21.9 fatal points per game to opposing running backs. I think this puts Herbert in a great spot to have a high volume of touches while being only $5,500. So a really solid value play at running back to start things off. Next up, Michael Pittman at wide receiver for the Indianapolis Colts. He's still under $6,000. He's only $5,800, and he comes in with a 25% market share of targets for the Colts passing game. That's the highest on the team, while the player who has the second most uh, target share is sitting down at 15%. So he is clearly the number one receiver for the Colts. He comes in with seven targets or more in each of the last four games. He finally found the end zone last week. He also comes in with six total red zone targets this week, which is good. Uh, six total red zone targets this season, which of course good to see. And this week, he should be able to replicate what he did last week, because this week they're going up against the Houston Texans, a team we don't need to be worried about on defense. This gives the Colts a 26.75 implied team total, which is one of the highest on the slate. They're 10-point home favorites. It should be all Colts in this game, and plenty of Michael Pittman. Moving on to tight end, Hunter Henry at $5,600 for the New England Patriots. Now, the Patriots signed both Henry and Jonu Smith in the offseason. And at the beginning of the season, we didn't know who was going to be taking the lead. But in the past two weeks, it's been, become very clear that Hunter Henry is the pass-catching option for the Patriots. Uh, in week five, we saw Hunter Henry play on 62% of the snaps and run a route on 61% of the passing plays compared to Johnny Smith, who played on 63% of the snaps, but only ran a route on 19% of the passing plays, which is so, so low. We saw the same in week four, where Hunter Henry was playing on a comparable amount of snaps, but the number of routes he was running on passing plays, which was much higher than Johnny Smith. And we see this with Henry having eight, five, and six targets over his past three games. So Hunter Henry is the pass catching option at tight end for the Patriots. And this is the value play you want to be trusting at tight end if you're, of course, not paying up for Travis Kelsey or Mark Andrews. All right, so that does it for this week's FanDuel Hurry Up. The value plays, the solid options, Khalil Herbert, uh, Michael Pittman, and Hunter Henry for running back, wide receiver, and tight end. We'll be back next week for another set of value plays right here on the FanDuel Hurry Up.